doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Uh, Wait, we're on 20, right? 20 doesn't connect. What, what is this? Is this 48 or 46? That's, it says 48 or 46. Unless, Maybe. yeah, we're on 20, so that's this side. Mm -hmm. It's. I think it's 46. I think it's right there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you know what? That might be a 48. It's hard to read. Yeah, it's got to be 48. Okay, so we're right there at that base. Uh -huh. Well, you want to you wanna take this and just see what this single track looks like? Yeah. And then, uh... Because I thought I'd come all the way up to here and take a 197. Yeah. Let's just, why don't we just follow the green up to that tip and then do 197 from that point. Hopefully it's not crazy bad. Probably just the hardest. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Holy I don't know about that. Anything you can do, I can try to do too. The thing is, I can try it. <laughs> I don't know that I would do it. Well, there's plenty of trees to fall against. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I really would look forward to having my back up against the tree and the bike on top of it. Damn, you come off of that and there's nowhere to go. Look, you can tell where people have like, I can't stop! Ah! Yeah. Ah, spider webs. The more difficult or the most difficult? It's just single track. They don't really rate them. Oh, I thought on this thing it said that the harder, the harder is, is that what it is? Yeah, they have two different sizes. Single track. One, 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 one. That looks like most. <laughs> yeah, that looks like impossible. <laughs> yeah. Single track most. 151 to 199. So that's oh. Yeah, yeah. So we, if we're going to look for that. We went the Moors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just find the most You're difficult. Yeah, there's only two more that are crazier than those. I'm glad that we saw that at the beginning, though. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, you never know what's what the rest of it looks like. Well, no, people have been coming down this way. Well, they've done it, definitely. So, well, there's a 125 down here that we might be able to do. Right. So if we stay on 20. Yeah. And do a little bit of that. It looks like it turns into. Oh no! It comes all around. Hits 15. Yeah. We can check out the old equipment. So let's go to the old equipment, and then we'll decide on 125. That was cool. Cool overhang there. So we just thought about doing a 190. 7198? Oh my god, just the entrance into that was crazy. Enough to detour just about anybody. So for the hardiest riders. Apparently the trail system has a the single track is rated. Anything above 150 is the most difficult. So we're gonna look for uh, 126. See how that looks. Right now we're on trail 20, just past 196, 198, whatever it was, maybe 198. This trail is pretty good actually, it's not as rocky as the green trail over at Buffalo Mountain, or Bear Wall, or wherever we are. The names run together. I don't know which one is which. It's the one where it comes out in Dilbert and Man. There's a couple of towns you can go to. Still trying to concentrate on the trail a little bit here too. I'm not hauling butt like yesterday. Whew. 
that's a pretty good pace. Ride a map, give you credit. You can ride pretty fast. We were talking, it's so funny. Rides fast. Gets through all the hard stuff. Doing something silly and little, and he falls over. <laughs> when you least expect it, you think you're safe, that's when you're most vulnerable. So the closer you are to harm, the safer you'll be. <laughs> Hobbit reference. So, give you an idea how fast I'm going. I'm doing 22 miles an hour right here. My speedometer's off. It's by a lot because I got low gearing on this guy. So it tends to read about 10 miles an hour too fast. Or... But my GPS is pretty accurate. I run most of this stuff in second gear. I can get to third in spaces. I'm not a real super fast rider. Sova on his KX. Two stroke. He's been loving that. He still has his KLR though. He actually even brought it. But it's just us three out today. Everybody else is already headed back. It's Sunday. But uh, Thumpstar didn't make it out with us today because he had a little incident yesterday where Log jumped out and got him. And his uh, foot's not doing so good. So he's taking today off for the trail riding. Which I don't blame him. I had a couple of couple of falls yesterday. One that was pretty good. I was on a double black, but I wasn't going all the way down. I was just trying to catch up with these guys because they made a wrong turn going down it. And uh, there was a log crossways across the trail. And I was going too fast trying to catch back up with everybody. And my, of course, my front wheel washed out and landed on my left side. So my left elbow was hurting when I touch it. Some other aches and pains. But uh, I need to get me some elbow pads and some knee pads to wear with my off-road gear. On my normal street riding stuff, I have pads in all the places that need them. But when it's hot and I want to wear the lighter weight stuff, I'm going to have to wear stuff underneath it. Alright, trail 125. Right in there. <laughs> That's trail 125. Yeah, I want to go over here real quick and check it out. Talk. Mine all caved in. So this is 125. Give you an idea. Hold my head level. It's pretty high. It's nothing worse than we did yesterday. Except these big rocks. Come Silva. I put my head straight down the hill, so it looks like it's flat, but it is not flat. 
It's like a 45 degree angle. So this is about where my microphone started giving out on me, but we came up to this nice view here. Little overlook. Bugs flying around. Pretty pretty nice. No flat space in, in West Virginia. So Tim hit a briar right on his face, right across his nose. He had his windshield up. So oh, it was bleeding. I think that's a coal seam fire. Look at the heat coming out of that. Come over here. Oh crap. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, because this, this looks new. It got washed out. I know, it's freaking fumes when you pass out. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. That was a coal scene fire way down in there, man. You can feel the heat coming up, you can smell it. That was crazy. Look at that view though. Short second, you can see it anyways. I put my shield down again before I get more spiders in my face. Got one right on my GPS. Woo. Woo. Big holes. Oh, there's a freaking spider, 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 spider.
I slowed down because I seen this hill and it just slid right out. I know, I did too.